Well, we're here in Sheffield, of course, the World Snooker Tour arrives here for the World Snooker Championships every year. And it's a great celebration, seeing so many people come from all over the world. And of course, so many local people buying tickets and spending their time with us. And we're very pleased to be here. World Snooker is part of the Matchroom Group of organisations and Matchroom is made up of a number of sports, whether that be darts with the PDC, Professional Darts Corporation, whether it be the World Snooker Tour, boxing and other sports. The multi-sports have all come together and what we've done is established the Matchroom Charitable Foundation. Each person that buys a ticket to any of the events within the Matchroom Group, one pound from those tickets goes into a central fund and that fund is distributed to communities, to organisations, to causes, to charities in the local areas where we operate with our major events. This work is very important to us and we're very happy to be able to give something back to the people that actually spend money with us. The Matchroom Charitable Foundation has raised in excess of 3.7 million pounds in recent years. And over 3.2 million pounds has actually been given back to communities, to causes and to charities. And we are very happy to be here in Sheffield working with a number of charities that have benefited from the Matchroom Foundation, Bluebell Wood and Kephalitis. And of course, we're here today to celebrate Pacers. So Pacers is a specialist school, an adult centre and a charity all sort of rolled into one. We support children and adults with neurological conditions, so cerebral palsy, MS, stroke, Parkinson's and other brain injury. And what makes us a little bit different, a little bit unique is our approach and the, way, the methods that we use is something called conductive education. So that's a Hungarian holistic approach which we use to motivate, move and nurture movements in children to help them learn how to walk, talk, sit, stand and gain as much independence as possible. And these are all children that will have been told at one point or another that they won't ever be able to achieve these things. So really breaking down the barriers. And then we use a similar method in our adult services and we use that to ensure that the adults don't lose the use of an arm, a leg or whatever it might be due to their condition. We've managed to grow thanks to the people like the Matchroom Charitable Foundation. Without support like that, we wouldn't have been able to move into our new school, which allowed us to support more children, it allowed us to build purpose-built facilities, extra classrooms, hoisting systems, toileting systems. These are all things that, believe it or not, a couple of years ago in our old school, we didn't have. We've been based in Sheffield for over 25 years now, but if you rewind two or three years, there's so many people that didn't know who Pacers were, and that's changing very, very rapidly, really, over the last sort of 18 months, two years again, and that is because of the support that we get from global eyes on things like the snooker and, and how that supports us. That sort of passes attention on to us, and then more people find out who we are, what we do. Um, so, you know, like we've had some incredible uh, support in the way of funds from the Matchroom Charitable Foundation, but the awareness that that's going to help us bring, you can't really measure that, but that is of equal importance to us at Pacers for sure. Being involved in sport as a senior administrator, it's so fortunate. You see the glitz and the glamour and the major events and the celebrity status of all our players and officials, but actually it's really important to recognise that we're very fortunate in this world and some people are a lot less fortunate. And that's why the Matchroom Foundation has been created in order to give back to the communities that we benefit from.